Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So if you've been following me along on my F80 journey, my modification journey, my ownership, you guys know that I recently uh, installed the Golden Wrench Supply cap set. So we got the window washer fluid cap, oil cap, uh, coolant tank cap, as well as the charge cooler cap over there. And there was one cap that I didn't do because I was waiting on my decision. And that cap is the oil filter housing right here. So this is where the oil filter goes. And what I originally purchased was this. This is the Future Classic oil filter housing. Now, after looking at it, I ordered it. This thing is like 195 bucks, which is pretty crazy. Very nice quality. But the thing that I wasn't crazy about it was how you install it. So if you look on the top, it's a big 36 millimeter uh, hex. So in order to tighten this down to the 25 newton meters that it says, you need to put metal on here. You need to put a nut, a 36 millimeter socket. So I wasn't crazy about that because this is obviously anodized aluminum and I don't want to end up scratching this because it's literally front and center right in the engine bay and that would bother the heck out of me. So I was back and forth if I wanted to install this. Then I started thinking, I was like, all right, Golden Ranch has these beautiful caps. How come they don't have an oil filter cap? So lo and behold, they actually do. And I ended up ordering it and here we go. So I have both side by side. This is the Golden Wrench Supply one. The reason why I like this is for a couple of reasons. One of which obviously it matches all of my other caps because it's literally made by the same company. So it's the exact same shade, same color. It has the same detail on the outside of the cap. And another reason why I absolutely love this one is because of the way you install it. So if you look in the center right there, that is a 10 millimeter Allen. So instead of scratching up the really nice, beautiful finish, so they developed this really ingenious idea where you actually tighten it down in the middle. This is actually scratch resistant, so you're not gonna ding it up. It's not gonna get ugly over time. You're only tightening it down to 25 Newton meters, which is around 18 foot pounds, so it's really not much. Even so, I think that's a much smarter design overall because you're not even touching the anodized part of the entire cap, so it's gonna stay looking beautiful at all times. And like I mentioned, it matches exactly like the other caps. Now. In order to install this, it's pretty straightforward, but I do recommend picking up an oil filter kit. So you can get an OEM oil filter kit from BMW. I actually purchased this when I got this one. Um, so this is a brand new oil filter, as well as all the seals and the gaskets and everything. So if you look in here, sorry, I'm doing this one handed. We have all of the seals, the gaskets, everything that you need in order to do this properly. Yes, you can probably get away without doing this, but I highly recommend it and it's not that expensive to do at all. So if you're replacing the oil filter housing, I definitely recommend picking one of these up. Here is the part number if you are interested in getting one. Again, definitely something I recommend. So the install is very simple. I mean, just to kind of explain it real quick, you literally just unscrew that, take out the filter, clean it up, put the new gaskets and O-rings on, and then tighten it down. However, of course, BMW has a specific type of wrench that you need to take this off. So I got to thinking, I was like, wait, you know, I do oil filters all the time and I have these rubber strap oil filter wrenches. I have two different sizes and they have come in handy so much. And that is how I'm actually going to remove the stock housing. Pretty simple. You literally just wrap it around there. You adjust the tightness and then you turn it one way or you can turn it the other way to loosen it. So I just did a little test actually, just to make sure it worked. And sure enough, I was able to loosen it, no problem. So let's go ahead, get this installed, and I'll show you the process. All right, so something I recommend doing is get an old towel, paper towels, whatever you want, because there's gonna be some residual oil, obviously in the cap, and obviously when you take the oil filter out, but we wanna minimize the amounts of dropping on the engine bay and all that. So wrapping a towel around the area is definitely gonna help. All right, so got that wrapped around. I'm basically just gonna bring it over to here so we're not gonna get the engine bay all dirty. So I'm gonna take my rubber filter uh, strap, uh, wrap it around there, turn it counterclockwise, and we can take off the cap. All right, so at this point, it's getting very loose. What you actually wanna do is hold it up just a little bit, kind of angle it so all the residual oil that is in the cap kind of falls back into the filter housing and you don't wanna spill it everywhere. And also, as you can tell, it brings up the filter. So we're kind of just kind of tilt it, let it drain a little bit, let it go back into the motor, and we can carry it on over to the towel. All right, so obviously we're not changing the oil right now. We will be doing that in a couple thousand miles, but what I wanna do is just clean up the threads. They say to actually use some compressed air to make sure there's no plastic or anything from the OEM housing, the OEM cap. 
because uh, you obviously don't want that going into here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the threads real quick with a shop towel and then we can go over to the workbench and get working on the actual golden wrench cap. So what we actually need to do with this is we actually need to uh, remove the little stock that's inside the OEM cap and install it on here. So we're going to remove the old filter. There's a little clip inside for the little stock in there, and then we can transfer it on over. All right, so let's remove the stock from the OEM cap. Basically, all you want to do is tilt the entire, I already did it because I wanted to make sure, you actually push the entire stock towards the outside of the cap. So you just push and it pops off. And there you go. So now we're going to do is transfer it over to the golden wrench one and we can put all the gaskets on and we can install it. All right. So pretty straightforward. What I ended up doing is actually just kind of wiping this down. We're actually going to be replacing this O-ring at the top as well. It comes in the oil filter kit. So you get a crush washer and you also get the little uh, O-ring right there. It's sitting inside the uh, copper washer right there. But, but we're going to be putting that on here. We're also going to be using the large gasket for around the entire housing. But in order to install this, it's pretty simple. You literally just lock it into place. There's some uh, grooves and tabs there. It just fits right in. As you can see right there, the tabs on the bottom fit right into the Golden Wrench Supply tabs as well. And it's locked in there perfectly. So now what we can actually do is put the filter in. It doesn't matter which way, but for me being OCD, I like to put the logo where you can see it. So I'm going to put that right here. So make sure it's all the way down. Now we can go ahead and put the gasket on. So we're going to take the large gasket here. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the oil. And just kind of lube up the actual gasket a little bit so it gets a good seal. Last but not least, we're going to change out that little O-ring right there. So you just get a little pick tool. Pop it off like that. And then take the one supplied with the new filter and pop it on. All right, there we go. Everything is ready to go. So now we can go ahead and put this back on the car. All right, so we're back in the engine bay. I got the filter housing cap with the new gaskets and filter and we're simply just going to lower it on there make sure it's seated correctly and thread it in all right next up we're actually going to want to torque this down so you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket like I got right here and it simply just fits right into there and we're going to tighten it down to 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds So there we go, everything is installed. It torqued down beautifully. And one thing that I love is that the lettering is centered. One thing I didn't like about the Future Classic is when it was torqued down, it'd be, I think, facing this way. So it wasn't centered, really bothered me. And as you can tell, it says uh, torqued down to 25 newton meters and everything looks beautiful. And it really, really just finishes off the engine bay. Everything matches beautifully. So I'm really, really happy with that. Super simple install. And uh, yeah, it really just finishes it off and I think it looks great. All right, so now that we got that installed, if anybody is interested in the Future Classic one, still a very, very, very beautiful piece. Uh, there is the part number if you guys are interested, but if you guys are interested in this one, it's never been used, it's brand new. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, I'll sell it to you for a really good deal. Again, this was 195 new, so uh, I'll give you a good deal on it. Just hit me up. All right, so there is one more thing that I want to install tonight. It's a very simple modification. Most people won't notice, but something that I personally think is fantastic. And it's something that I'm going to notice. It's all about the details. And what this actually is, it's a Carbon X uh, hood latch handle. So if we go into the interior, in order to open up the hood is in the typical place down here. So if you see that, that is made of plastic. It's not necessarily known for breaking, but this thing does feel very flimsy when you do pull it. And a lot of people upgrade them to an aluminum one just because it obviously is nicer overall and there's less chance of it breaking. 
Also, you can get those paint matched. So if I really wanted to, I could have gotten the handle paint matched to the mineral gray. But I mentioned in another video, I'm not a big fan of bringing exterior colors into the interior. So uh, I just did the normal black. So let's go ahead, let's open it up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what you get. You just get a box with the handle in it, no instructions or anything, but the craftsmanship on this thing is absolutely beautiful. There's a little caution sticker here. It just says mounting point, it has sharp edges, handle with care. You obviously don't want to scratch anything or scratch yourself. So if we peel it off, you can see the full uh, handle and all the detail and it just looks beautiful. I mean, look at the etching there. It's just way, way nicer. So this is a fairly, fairly simple install. There's just one bolt over there. I got to look at the actual size to let you know once we get in the car, but really simple. You just unbolt it, slip this one back on and bolt it back up and you're good to go. All right, so we are in the driver footwell. As you can see right here, it is just a Phillips head screw. So just get a screwdriver and we're going to unscrew the handle. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than this. I mean, look at this plastic. I'll, I'll show you a comparison side by side once we get this one off, but super simple, comes right out. Like that, put the screw aside. Let's uh, do a little comparison. So here's the comparison between the two. Obviously plastic, looks like uh, super cheap. And this one is just beautiful. I know it's a very, very minor detail, but I open the hood a lot. I'm constantly cleaning it. I'm constantly looking at it, you know, doing maintenance modifications, what have you. I am always, always pulling this latch and you have to pull it twice. That's just a BMW thing. And uh, cause there's two latches. So you always have to pull it twice. And every single time I pulled this, I always felt like I was going to snap it in half. So uh, seeing how cheap this thing is and obviously plastic and how much nicer this one is, I'm really, really happy I decided to pick it up. So let's go ahead and put this on the car. Again, probably the easiest install I have done on this car yet, but it makes a big difference overall. So to install, obviously just reverse everything. We're just going to line up the little notches on the handle like so. And then we're going to take the stock OEM screw And screw it back in. All right, there we go. Installed. Feels so much better. Doesn't feel like it's going to snap in my hand as I'm pulling it. And uh, looks fantastic. So there we go. Install complete. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. Just did a couple quick mods in this video. Didn't want to get too crazy. Didn't want to do too many. Just wanted to kind of do some something simple tonight and uh, not get too involved because I've been going pretty crazy on the car and uh, I've been staying out here pretty late. So I wanted to do a few little things to get some things under my belt and get things checked off the list. So we installed the Golden Wrench Blackline Performance Oil Filter Housing Cap as well as the Carbon X Hood Latch. And uh, I'm very, very happy with the outcome. I'm really happy I decided to go with this one and have everything match. And uh, I was thinking about doing the Downstar Titanium Hardware Kit, which I have right on over here. I was thinking about installing this tonight. This is the full titanium kit offered by Downstar. I was gonna put it on, but uh, I don't wanna get too involved right now and uh, stay up too late again. But <laughs> uh, that is gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all about the oil filter housing cap or the hood latch or anything else on the M3, please let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.